In this tutorial, we are going to talk about creating and editing hash objects. First, click the hash command in the ribbon. The hash and the gradient dialog box will appear. This dialog box is divided into five main areas that contains different options. Open the hash pattern palette, select a proper pattern, and then select the color of the pattern and the background. Next, let's assign a scale value of 2 and set hatching options. And then select the boundaries, pick points option, and select a point as shown, and press enter. Now click OK, the hatch button is created easily. Repeat the command. This time, try another hatch button. Keeping its value at 2 and clicking the big points option. Then selecting an internal point as shown, press enter to return to the dialog box and click OK to create the hatch button. If you want to edit these patterns, just double click the hatch object, you will notice that the hatch edit dialog box appears. For example, if you want to change pattern, color, and the skill value of this hatch pattern, just select a new pattern and color and enter a new value. The associated hatch pattern will be updated. Click gradient command in the ribbon. This time, we are going to use a gradient pattern to add a decorative effect or a sterling effect to the objects. Select two color mode. For the first color, let's choose color index number 152. For the second color, let's choose index number 101. And then select pick points option and pick internal points as shown. Press enter and click OK. Now the gradient pattern is created. If you want to create hash or gradient objects which have the same properties as existing ones quickly, just click hash command. You will notice there is an option called inherit properties in the bottom right corner of the dialog box. Click it and then click on a hash or gradient object and pick internal points as shown. Press enter and click OK. Now the same gradient pattern objects are created. 